Okay, box arrived from Banggood. Uh, took a couple of weeks to get here, two or three weeks, which was which was good. Uh, slight dent in the top of the box. Um, all seems to be well packaged with the um, sort of polystyrene type packaging. That's the first layer with the uh, the main heater bed assembly. Second layer with a box of uh, ancillaries. The power unit and the uh, the gantry. So on further inspection, I did notice that there was a a bit of protrusion of the gantry through the uh, protective material but uh, on inspection that didn't look as though it done any damage at all to the to the gantry itself so the ancillaries box came with um, limit switches some tapes a ro roll of filament packing list and some uh, instructions Two power cables, one European, one American, which is no good to me in, in the UK. Uh, SD card with a USB um, adapter, some spare nuts and bolts, um, the scraper, filament, uh, PTFE tube. So then just from carried on removing the packaging from the gantry. All seem to be well secured with zip ties. Um, just seeing the lead screw, uh, seeing how that operated. That was uh, not connected to the uh, stepper motor. As you can see here, as I say, it's not connected to the stepper motor. Um, that was just a case of pushing the lead screw in fully and then tightening up the grub screws. The uh, the hotbed itself was well packaged, glass was held in place with four bulldog clips uh, and was covered in a protective film. So I took the bulldog clips off, took the protective film off the glass, that all seemed to be in good order. Edges were nicely polished and rounded off. On the uh, on the glass itself now the heat bed uh, rollers are asymmetric bolts so they just needed some slight adjustment just to uh, ensure that the uh, that they were all holding the the heat bed sort of stirred sort of steadily to the to the cross member there so then the gantry it just fits on the top uh, of the of the base and is held on with four screws with uh, or hex bolts with uh, washers just put it together loosely initially and then gently nip it up you can see here that the uh, that the main base plate did have some uh, some paint that had been scraped off which made me kind of think that the gantry had already been fitted once perhaps that was just to check to make sure it was all square and the heat bed connections and the, the sort of plastic knobs that you use to level the bed Couple of marks on the on, on the aluminium, but nothing to uh, nothing to worry about. Okay, so there you can see that the stepper motors, um, the uh, gantry rather, has been fitted to the base plate, and that the limit switch is where it uh, where it should be, sort of secured, and that again was no issue at all with those T T bolts. Here's the filament holder that's attached to the uh, 
to the power supply using a couple of knurled screws. And then the actual support for the filament itself, just you know, unscrew one end, put it through the hole and screw it back up. Really simple. And that is how a piece of, has a roll of filament fits on there. Uh, PLA 1.75 millimeter is what they gave, um, about 200 grams. You can see the power unit, plenty of ventilation. It looks really well made actually. Uh, information about the um, inputs of the, the main plug at the back. Made sure it was on two, 220 volts for the UK, uh, which it was. And there you can see USB and SD card slot. So the power cable just uh, fitted on the back of the power supply. Uh, just uh, plug and play, just do the thing up. Then you had the cables for the heater bed. All of it looks pretty well made and uh, of, of reasonable quality. That just push fitted, no real problems with that. Um, then the other cables, which were for the limit switches and stepper motors. This one's the Y axis, and they're all labelled really well. Um, limit switches, um, the only, the only uh, limit switch that was a bit awkward was the Z axis, um, which took a bit of wiggling to get in, but they all fitted nicely. Uh, And that was it really. Then I just took the SD card, popped it in, and uh, there was a filament guide file on the G code for it, which I thought would be useful. So I leveled the bed, printed the, uh, the filament guide, and um, as you can see, it, it all worked pretty much out the box. Uh, although the filament guide was for the CR10, not the CR10 Mini, so it didn't actually fit. But the quality of it was good, and as you can see, it, it kind of it just worked. There is a filament guide um, and Bowden extruder um, cover on Thingiverse that's worth printing out. So just go hunting for that and you'll find it. But here you can see the thing printing and it, uh, it worked a dream actually. I'll be interested to know what the slicer settings were for this CR10 filament guide that was on the SD card. Uh, I'm not sure how you get hold of those or how you work, work them out. But um, no, it seemed to work absolutely fine. Um, this was a more useful print that I printed. First thing out was uh, a GoPro um, mount and used Cura standard settings for a CR10 but just changed the size of the bed uh, and this was 0.3 millimeter layer height I believe and it came out a treat so 